Hi, we're here with Andy Faville, the new chairman of the board of the Illinois Manufacturers Association. Andy, tell us about yourself and your company, Felix Corporation. I was an aeronautical engineer for uh, designing uh, special mission airplanes in uh, Kansas for a company, uh, Beechcraft Raytheon there, in the early 80s and uh, moved up here to join this group uh, at Felix Corporation in about 1982. Um, had um, a, a technical background and we manufacture technical products. We're an engineering company. We design and build test machines for uh, materials, uh, lubricants, and fuels. And we are selling mainly capital equipment for research uh, to large companies around the, around the world. Our business is uh, located in Sugar Grove, Illinois. We have um, approximately 80 people here at this, uh, at this industrial park. And we also have operations in uh, Belgium uh, for doing additional testing and helping support our technical service uh, in uh, Western Europe. Our customers uh, include Caterpillar, uh, John Deere, Exxon, uh, IBM, Boeing, large companies that are looking at uh, materials or lubricant research. So how did you become involved with the IMA? In our area here, we have a, a more local regional group called the Valley Industrial Association, which is a partner with the IMA. And I worked in that um, as a younger man and became the chairman of that at the turn of the new century. And from there, went into Illinois Manufacturers Association, as many of my colleagues and predecessors had done. Uh, and got involved with IMA uh, working through uh, the PAC, the Political Action Committee uh, leader, uh, and then uh, worked way up through the chairs as treasurer and vice chairman and, and now chairman. So a good position to have arrived. A number of your predecessors have brought agenda items to the board for improving the IMA. What are some of your ideas? I think I've got my key ideas, which are to ex uh, to expand our presence in Illinois, to make sure that our membership all over the state knows where we are, what we're doing, and how we're doing it. Uh, and I look forward to expanding our role in the educational world, working with not only the community colleges and colleges in general, but also down into the high school and even middle school level where we can expose uh, the students to what manufacturing is, is no longer the greasy uh, fire pit of, of uh, manufacturing that we know from the, the uh, old early 20s and 30s where things were happening uh, in dusty coal towns and steel towns. We have high technology, we have a need for a lot of educated uh, people and a lot of opportunities for those people to do very well and make a, a very good living. And of course, the more manufacturing jobs we can create in Illinois, uh, the stronger Illinois can become because of the types of jobs that those people influence and the money that they put into the system to help our overall economy. What are some of the policies you see in need of change that could really benefit the business economy in Illinois? Well, there's a number of areas where we've worked uh, to uh, keep the gross receipts tax out of Illinois, which would have been a hindrance or certainly a very large hurdle uh, to help with uh, workers' comp reform and even the new pension planning uh, to make the state stronger and allow the state uh, to put to take away some of the burden that manufacturers and other businesses feel when they operate in Illinois. Give us your thoughts about the IMA Education Foundation and how it specifically helped your business. The more educated an employee is, the higher value that employee has. So I've always felt that it's important to provide as much training to our employees as we can so that they do feel that value. So the Education Foundation is focusing on uh, work keys, on uh, certificates that will show the employer that a number of these steps have been satisfied, that I can start something and finish it, that I have uh, the understanding that I had to be at this class on time, that I had to work in this way. And I think expanding in that will help all companies across Illinois. It certainly will help us. Uh, the days of the uh, low-wage apprentice programs are pretty much past. And so uh, at a minimum wage where we are now, uh, to bring a, a totally and completely uneducated person and train them is an expensive proposition. 
training is a multifaceted issue and the Education Foundation is doing a wonderful job of putting those building blocks in place for employer to expand on and work with the grant programs and other types of training so that we can get an employee that has high value, can get good wages, and can have a self-worth.